Hello once more. So now um, I want to talk, or yes, I want to introduce Green's Functions for Quantum Mechanics. So the title of the talk is going to be Introduction to Green's Functions in Quantum Mechanics. Um, from the perspective of the Schrodinger equation. So then I have been thinking a lot uh, how to actually get started with uh, Green's function in quantum mechanics in the channel so um, and I came to the idea that perhaps it will be a quite a good approach to do this to prove prove Green's functions for Schrodinger equation okay Then show that the propagator in Feynman's path integral satisfies Schrodinger equation okay so once we have done this then we would say oh okay so then the Green's function in single particle quantum mechanics Quantum mechanics is a propagator, and this, of course, applies to many body quantum mechanics as well. So then, yeah, the task the task now is to actually do it for a single particle and with the stranger equation so then we're going to write the following so let's change color for a little bit and let's do this let's say that this is minus h bar square divided by 2m Laplacian of the wave function now we're just in um, we're not going to be in the time domain we're just going to consider the Green's function in the coordinate space so then plus the potential times the wave function equal to the energy the wave function now we can rewrite this a little bit and then we can write a little bit in a like a Helmut's form so we can say that this is the Laplacian uh, of this is the Laplacian of just so here we were Laplacian of um, psi of R okay plus um, 2 times the mass times the energy psi of R divided by h bar square equal to 2 times the mass um, and the potential times the wave function 
divided by h bar square and if we just uh, do the following so then we, we will just call kappa square 2m e divided by h bar square and then we will call q of r equal to 2m v of r psi of r divided by h bar square and then we will end up with the Helmholtz Helmholtz like equation of the form uh, Laplacian square plus kappa square psi of r equal to q of r now um, with the difference that q of r depends on the wave function so then this will have to be a self-consistent procedure so then but we will see um, how to actually go around this now for the Green's function for this equation the Green's function so the Green's function g of r must obey the following equation so then you must obey Laplacian square Laplacian square no Laplacian plus kappa square times g of r equal to delta 3 of r okay so then and now we can uh, uh, see that what we're expecting from this procedure is a solution of the form psi of r equal to the integral over r prime of g of r minus r prime uh, q of r prime okay this is what we're expecting and then uh, of course the task is going to see that uh, uh, so if we can write this solution in such a form so then as well we can actually calculate the Green's function so then this is the the the, the, the main task that, that actually will occupy us so then which is a little bit uh, hassly to calculate the Green's function, but um, it's just pure algebra. So let's get to it. A little bit of water.